So in our book called Things That Go, one of the pages talks about vehicles that float and dive. You can see we've got like a, a canoe here that goes on top of the water. You've got some taxi ferries and some other boats that go on the top. But you've also got a boat that goes under. It's really not called a boat. It's like a submarine. Now, a submarine is safe because you are inside the submarine and they seal it off really tight so no water can get in. Let's make a submarine together and put some people in it. I'm going to make a submarine. I need a yellow sheet of paper. I'm going to fold it in thirds. One up and one down. Like so. Now I'm going to draw a submarine. So I have to make sure I don't cut this part. Let's see. And in this part, I'm going to make, let's put four, three people. Three people in my submarine. Let's make them a bigger, bit bigger. I'm going to carefully cut the circles and cut my submarine. Cut around here. Remember, don't cut all of your folds. If you want your submarine to go up. All right, so now I'm very carefully going to open this flap and very carefully cut out the circle. Okay, that's one. That's two. This is a small person. That's three. Now I have a submarine. I am going to draw some people in my submarine. Here's a circle, here's a circle, here's a circle. All right, and I can color it, of course. That's me. Who else? Oh, I should put my doggy. And what else should I take with me? How about an elephant? Should I take an elephant with me on a submarine? I don't think that would be a good idea, but maybe I could take my stuffed animal elephant. Don't forget to color it, and you can always put some more people in there too. And now I have my submarine. Also available online are some other activities for learning alphabet, sounds, counting, numbers, all around the theme of transportation. Remember, CraftyKidCreations.com.